so we uh yeah we'll i don't see start heading yeah. out <laughs> <laughs> okay. what are we are we riding the lizards is that a thing oh. Oh, yeah there's lizards yeah the lizards Play. lizards lizards snakes and giant turtles question question this is the established picture can i just awesome. came up with Snakes when we're riding racing. out, because now we're now we're in now we're in a. I, I'm just having to be those like sorry, thrill, like now we're in job mode. Mm-hmm. So I just want to always be recast because prestigitation lasts one hour. I want to always be recasting it so I can have my flame eyebrows, and my flame <laughs> hair. Can I also have flames coming off of my lizard? You're Hades. You're freaking Hades. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. With, with Ooh, I'm cool. Difference. I'm cool. <laughs> yeah. I like it. Can I have a flame lizard too? Uh. Roll a handle animal to see if your lizard will not throw you off. Freak out by the fire that looks, seems like it's all around it. Fifteen. Good enough? Yeah. That's no. it. Yeah, sure. Uh, handle animal is Ooh. wisdom, I think. So. No, I mean, it's, it's just, I yeah. don't have any bonus. Okay, cool. That's it. Uh, cool. So, yeah. Um, you all sell up your strong. giant lizards, which are, of course, the obviously mm. the mounts around here. Oh, yeah. I get on mine very uh, carefully and warily. I do not like these things. <laughs> they had horses back where I came from. <laughs> I'm in the back. I'm like, ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> like, yeah. so you got a lasso. <laughs> it is late afternoon, uh-huh. um, and it is a couple days ride to get even out to where old Yarvik lives. Okay. Um, so Is night travel like a, like a, like a good idea around here, maybe? <laughs> or... Or is that too dangerous? When it's like cooler, or is it too cold? Well, is it that kind of desert? I assume with the transition, we waited till the most opportune moment to leave. Sure. Yeah. Like yeah. Overnight. So you would. Um. It's like it's not in high summer. You might do night mm, travel. Mm. Um. But it's like mid May right now. Yeah. Okay. So it gets cold. Yeah. Shoot. It gets cold at night still. Um. You're. I mean, we're probably at six or seven thousand feet right now. Right. High plateau. Okay. Mm-hmm. True. True. Um, and steppy. So yeah, it gets gets cold at night and. Okay. It's not like too broiling hot the day. So I need step. daytime travel Stepping is still in, very in these or, days. Um, but yeah, so okay, so you've got a night like Viscount uh, Zoctavir. Zoctavir, okay. Asks you if there is anywhere in town where he can rest his head, and there's sort of not. He can stay at the guild. I don't care. There's a do we, stable. Do we have like an overly large? Premises for like the what six people who are employed. Yeah, here. do we have like think, a guild I think hall? You probably do. So, okay. so does he walk in and we're like, welcome? And he sits, he walks all the way to the end of the huge like <laughs> guild conference table yep. that we have. Hello. <laughs> yeah. We can't get, we can't get anyone to join. <laughs> what, what, uh, what was his name again? Vicam- Personalities Vicam- cause everyone Zoctavir. to leave. Zoctavir. So, uh, what does Nash think of my cool flame lizard? The exchequer of Earl. by it. What? Like frightened. <laughs> Do you like that he's he, frightened? He, 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 he's like, ooh, I ooh. can give you fire if you want it. Okay. So um the the Viscount like claps his hands twice and his his two lackeys, one of them is like tall and burly and the other one is like like short and small and has glasses and sort of grey hair. Um but they, they immediately snap into motion and they've been standing there quietly in the back for all this time. They immediately like snap into motion and go and like start unloading this thing apparently he came here with a lot of stuff. <laughs> Mm. Um, what, uh, do I know, have any idea who Earl might be at war with and why? Um, I didn't make any of that up. Oh, okay. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. Earl's just at nope. war. No, you're not ever going to Earl. This is probably the only Earl person was Earl always at meet. war. Gotcha. Earl's all, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Earl is now at war with Logan. Oceania. That's, that's, yeah. <laughs> that's for the, so, that's, that's the next campaign. I just want to establish this is actually the first job I've been with. I don't, I don't mm, know with you guys. Sure. I think I rolled into town and you were like, "Yeah, we hunt monsters. We're just waiting for a job." And this is the first one. So yeah, cool. did, you, did you did you like did you have the like we where you held up the like the the drawing of our guild that it came down? It was like, run down. Yeah. Like, <laughs> totally run down. down. <laughs> you like you like see it on the map yeah. and it's like amazing and then you like like put it down. And it says like the very beast or like the beast around on it, like, scrawled <laughs> in your handwriting and you can't read or write. So like like. Like, yeah, like the R's are scratch. backwards and stuff like that. Okay, Calvin and Hobbes. Great, I love it. You're doing great. <laughs> okay, so don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, if nobody has any like questions or anything to ask Viscount Octavir, he's going to retire to his room with a book. Yeah, he should. And his scotch. I'm done with him. Um, I wanna, I wanna see if I can inquire about what natural resources these are. But that, that might not go very well. 
<laughs> is this more of a trial run, though? So, like, we're not actually defeating this manticore for any specific reason. Uh, no, this is... So, if you're having this conversation in front of him, like, mm-hmm. there is a reason that I picked the manticore. It's not a simple folly on my part. Hmm. Um, in that region has been identified a quantity, the posit, if you will, of rock oil. Or rock blood. God damn it. It's rock blood. <laughs> is he talking like R-O-C or R-O-C-K? R-O-C-K. Oh, okay. Does he roll his R's like that? Yeah. <laughs> rock blood. No. So rock blood is a... Uh, a Denoyal war. Thick, viscous like substance that, that builds up underneath the ground. Oh, it's it's oil. Yeah, it's it's goddamn oil. oil. All um, right. It has... Well... So it's it's an oil analog. It has strong alchemical uh, properties. Um, you probably would have heard of it. Um, you can use it for all sorts of wacky stuff. Um, you don't like see it is eyes when pretty I'm talking. Darn I just, like, have, like, yeah, like, the veils butt. just like peel also, up to, like, like, right here. It just like, shows the gross ass You would probably know this. I don't know yeah. about the rest of them, but it's like extremely <laughs> are, like, like dirty to mine and refine. Right. And like, as you come close to me, I like fuck up the desert. Oh, great. They get away. I'm going fuck. Okay. Okay. Yeah, got so yeah. Um, so there is there is a deposit of <laughs> rock blood in the region, um, and basically, as far as he can tell, the Manticore's territory is right on top of it. Um, gotcha. So, and that sort of jives with you. Remember that the Manticores are attracted to strong arcane auras, places mm. that have that sort of resonance. So rock blood has like a magical property then. Yes, it is mm. an extremely powerful magical reagent. So it's magical oil. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. The cars run twice yeah, as liquid long. Liquid MacGuffin. So I, I think as we're getting on the lizards, I'm like mentioning to everybody, all right, so these things are attracted to strong magical uh, pockets. So do we have a map of where the oil pool, where the rock blood pools? Like, it's... Don't need one. <laughs> the earthly wanders with you. <laughs> Yes, I understand you're all very knowledgeable about moving around in the wilderness. I'm just thinking it might be better to narrow down our search slightly. So do we feel like you're like coming in here and like Absolutely. shaking your dick around and being like, hey, is, I know what's best. That, that is my flaw. Okay. That is absolutely my flaw. Okay, great. Okay. I, 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 do, I do love the idea. I, I do love the, well, that's not how we do it you know, <laughs> yep. around here. Because I don't know you guys eat monsters yet. So this is going to be a thing. Because gotta, I'm just here to kill them. I didn't know eating them was a thing. <laughs> gotta, gotta eat somehow. You just think you just think the kitchen is disgusting just because we're disgusting. How do you yeah. think we like being able to keep costs down so low? See, I don't know. We don't buy food. You, you, yeah, you, you go through our books and you're like, where's that? Whatever. They're just idiots. <laughs> yeah, exactly. where's the food budget? Exactly. Oh, <laughs> I like it. That's great. Okay. Uh, so, let's see. You can... So there's not... Like, it hasn't been mapped out well. You know, more or less, like, or uh, basically, Zoctavir tells you, like, this region. Like, he pulls out a map and then pulls it. And it's right. like, yeah, like, around here. And it's like, oh. That's all like, he has. Okay. Yeah. So, I think, I'll, I'll say then, I think the best course of action would be to set a trap for this thing. We just need somebody to create a large magical explosion and then attract it towards us. I mean, it's going to be better than us roaming about the desert for 20 miles for weeks on end trying to figure out what this thing is. Hmm. So did you, did you tell Zoctavir that it has pups, probably? I did not. Okay. Yeah, I would imagine they were, we were just like, oh yeah, that's something we got to be aware of. Yeah. Um, hmm. Why would he care? It's dead, it's dead. Well, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to keep that to myself. Okay. Would you like have like mentioned to me like, oh, we really should get more because there's pups and then there's this and that and you know. We come back with a bunch of manticore veal and he's like. <laughs> Does it, it, that stuff doesn't concern me as much. So, uh, so I, okay. I, I hear what you're saying. Sounds like a good idea. Here's the thing. <clears throat> I'm not just going to waste my magic exploding nothing. If well, there's gonna be an explosion, something's going boom. Well, it would it wouldn't be a waste. You'd be drawing the monster to us. I mean, it doesn't have to be something. What does the rock oil do? It is a magical MacGuffin. It's, does it it's explode? A... Yeah, sure. Why not? Um, now this stuff is buried like and... thousands of feet oh, beneath the desert sands. It's a strong magical reagent. Oh. You need turbo drills. Fossil fuel. Yeah. <laughs> Or you know, Wait. there might there might be some places where it pulls to the surface. Like I'm not gonna say I was gonna say, is, is it like is it like a tar pit like kind a tar of situation yeah. sometimes? They wanna they wanna frack, right? They wanna do some fracking. Well, if we can find one of those, you can just blow it up. Well 
Oh, actually, yeah. That's what I was suggesting. I'll blow up some oil, but I'm not going to just use up my vast pool of power on nothing. Okay, but wait, do you, do you say that? Yes, I mentioned that. Okay. I would say, do you think I could say that I know that it does sometimes pull to the surface since I have Outlander knowledge? We, yeah. All three of us would know that. Because I, I, I lived out in the desert for I, a long time now. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, so you're like, we could, and then... And then, just, and, then, like, and then and then all of us we like, like burning it. Like we you just, just burn the rock blood sometimes. Right? Perhaps like, you could it's a thousand of feet on it's a thousand feet on the ground. No, 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 no. See, some of it comes up. It's a very active geologic area. They're constantly shifts. You got tar pits. Like grab one of my books and like flip through it. They, they, they don't teach you that at school. You gotta learn that by wandering out here. <laughs> you flip through the Rockwood page and there's my note in the margin. Come up from I pick up, the ground. I pick, I pick the book out of your hand and I turn around and I'm like, how long do you think they lived in the desert? Just like grabbing it back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I turn, you know, just, you don't see my eyes. I just like, just my mouth and my gross stained gums. Um. Okay, let's get out there. All right. When it's That's matters a good plan. of the desert, take our word for it. Okay. Fair enough. Or he's terrified. <laughs> well, there's a bunch of crazy desert people. I, <laughs> desert madness. I like to imagine I I'm only like half it. involved in like the actual intimidation because most of the time I'm. Your intimidation is passive. Yeah, I'm wolfing around. <laughs> I okay. like it. So I it's a couple like days it. ride out to Old Jarwick. Mm-hmm. Um, the Viscount declines to go with you. Mm. We didn't well, ask. He will stay in the lodge. Sure. Um, Help yourself to the cactus juice. I insist. We make it in house. Just like flies. <laughs> <laughs> they like land in it, drink it, and die. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, you um, think it's to course. catch flies? Again, we, yeah. we have to do a cocktail episode. Oh my god! <gasps> yes, oh. I'd love to. Oh, that can be a cocktail. Cocktail. I mean, if you want to, you want to come up with a pairing for something. Oh yeah, I'm absolutely. gonna say no. I'm not gonna say no to free drinks. Uh, so um, <clears throat> yeah, we ride up to Old Yarwicks. Okay, cool. We can do it. Um, so like you get there cats. sort of like mid afternoon. Um, hottest part of the day, and he is well, fortunately or well let's see, you see his two sons are or like as you're sort of riding along the path. It's not even quite a road, but there's definitely a path. Um, his two sons are out there working on a, a fence. And his two sons are like forty, and they're waiting to inherit the farm. Um, <laughs> Die already! My two old. adult fail sons. <laughs> my, two, my two large karate. My two large kung, sons. My large kung fu sons. But old Yarwick uh, has not died yet. He's pretty old. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> oh man! Yeah, there, there they are. The hairmen away. Two healthy, strapping young boys. Luther's like trying to make a map as we're like riding out in the desert. Just can't remember anything. Like, oh, we've got that all memorized. Don't worry about it. <laughs> What? What do you mean you haven't memorized? It's sand. There's no landmarks for miles. Okay, so there's the big uh, tapestry. There's the screaming cliffs. I'm just, I just start naming a bunch it's, of random it's stuff. Rock. <laughs> there are, those all aren't real names. <laughs> for me. You're just saying this. <laughs> you're just saying things. They're not even real places. You're just, you're just messing with me. Yeah. You're, 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 you hold your arms out in frustration when you look back at your map. There's like another line. <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> Where are you even getting the ink? <laughs> That's from the cactus. We we believe in using all parts of the cactus. All right, all right, all right. Let's just get to old Yarwicks. One, uh, one of the sons looks up from his no work and says, "The monster." Hail, travelers! Hi, Hi Yarwick. <laughs> I'm sorry. That How you a, doing? That's such an NPC response. <laughs> <laughs> Do I? I don't. I don't know these guys at all. You guys know. I click rumors. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) What what brings you out here? Oh, we're uh, we're getting the mana core. Oh, the mana core, eh? Oh yeah. It's about time. It's gone on long enough. Sorry. The other one pipes up. You know, I'm a little bit surprised you guys are bothering it. I mean, it takes a sheep every season or two, but we lose more to to just losing them in the canyons or to drought. Or I we'll mean... take care of the canyons afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> you have that on um, the guild on. <laughs> right. Gosh. No, that's a great a joke. Um... <clears throat> canyons, those will come later. Now we gotta worry about 
the mana core. But we, we've received a contract, and uh, look, the guild scene for days. Deal with those later. So we took it, and <clears throat> the old, your sheep will live another day. All right, you gonna eat it afterwards? Of course. You gonna know, hold a feast like always? Yeah, absolutely. I'm mean, bring your this bring your first, sons, please. This is the first time. You're... <laughs> well, please bring really, your sons. Really excited. So, about these are growing boys. They need something to so, eat. So like, I, I pause for a second. Wait, back up a sec. What do you mean eat? Oh, we don't eat the canyons. <laughs> Damn it, Logan. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, call back. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we weren't joking when we said if we use all parts of the mana core. Wait, no, 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 wait, stop. He's dabbing on the haters! <laughs> what do you mean, what do you mean eat? As, <laughs> as in, we cut it up, butcher it, and use bones and uh, organs for stock, for soups. We're going to use the poison from the tail for a variety of beverages it's and It's an intelligent hot sauce. creature! We preserve and pickle the eyes. It's an abomination. It's a job, and we need to eat. Hot days. It, it, it can. It, they can't talk, right? I forget. They can, they talk, can definitely yeah. talk. They can talk. These well, things can talk. Yeah, so but can you? you're gonna kill it. Yeah, but like <laughs> eating, it's like a whole other step. Well, I'm not gonna eat a person. No. You might. <clears throat> it's a manicure. If you've seen Sound the cool. things that eat people out here, you'd want to eat them too. There's, there's no way I'm eating it. I'm not eating it. Well, I'll help you kill it, but I'm not eating the thing. Well, or for us, it's a. Uh, Kind of our thing. <laughs> what? What do you mean it's your thing? It's what we do. I thought you knew that. Why would I know that? There's nobody else in the world that eats. Didn't you? Didn't you see the parchment? We beat it. We eat it. It is in the. By- <laughs> <laughs> it is in the bylaws. No, he couldn't understand it because you can't fucking write. <laughs> I read your bylaws when I got it's like here. They were scribbles. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta use the, the... Half of them are scribed onto wood! That's what the magnifying glass is That's why is you for. should have come to one of us to decipher it for. Look, let me make you my famous... I'm gonna fail. My famous... I'm gonna fail my family. <laughs> some, it, it's got poison in it. It's great. It tickles I, the tongue. I, it does I, have I, a I hear pleasant you, I, anesthetic effect. It gives you a nice numbing sensation. I, I, I perk up, perhaps literally, uh, when you say <laughs> when you say family. Um... Um, what's this about your family? Surely, it's, surely we can we can please them in some way. Look, all we need to do is kill the thing. Then my family, then my family will be appeased. I'm not eating it. You must. I understand your quest. I'm, I'm not gonna eat it. I exist. You you can't you can't make me eat it. We'll see. <laughs> and we'll see. and uh, the extra credit challenge is to sneak deem this character <laughs> food that we make <laughs> without him knowing. <laughs> So yeah, you can look forward to that in the coming, um, you know, week. We're week putting or two. it in your mouth when you're sleeping. <laughs> oh, stop! It. Stop! <laughs> what is this? We scurry out of the room. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sorry. So it's been the beast's been mostly holed up for the winter, as far as we can tell. But it, you know, like obviously we pay attention to it. Like it's a manacore. It's we don't we don't go over there. I had heard that there had been a male sighted a while back. Yeah, probably three or four years ago now. It means the possibility of partially grown pups is very high. You know, that sounds about right. The We did see, like, sort of an upward trend in the amount of sheep they take. It's still nothing. I mean, it's not a huge amount, but, like, it's as though they need us. more meat. Okay, so we're not just killing one manticore. We're actually killing three. Oh, that's no problem. Or They're young. More. They're young. It's, I'm not saying it's a problem. I'm just saying we need to be prepared. So I haven't actually seen the pups out. I think they're not old enough to leave the the lair yet, wherever that is. Sure. Then it will be easy. Maybe we can kill the pups first to attract the mother. Hmm. And you're calling us a crazy one. That's a great idea. Some, thank you. That's a great idea. I in, like it. You think like a murderer of sentience, <laughs> yes. <laughs> in that case. <laughs> Do you like, completely bur- butcher the pronunciation of that? Sentience. Sentience. Murderer sentience. Of, of, I think. Thinking bull. Thinking. Thinking creatures. 
<laughs> Are we all like kind of dumb? Oh uh, yeah, I'm stupid. I, I actually have nine intelligence, but I you're smarter than I. I I'm, I'm a wolf person. How dumb are you? I got an eight. No, I don't think that James. Man, of course, got a seven. I, I know, I'm great. That's, that's, that's why I laughed I earlier because I was like, hmm, that James, man could fit into this. I'm party. way smarter than all. James of you. is the nerd. <laughs> spoiler alert. <I> am. <laughs> I'm the uber nerd. Okay, excellent. This is all fine and good. Let's just we can find the lair then. You know Kill what? The pops attract the mother. I got an idea. I got an idea, guys. Guys, huddle, huddle, real quick. Just excuse. Me. <laughs> Look, it's his first mission. He really is gonna try and impress us. So let's see what he can do. How about that? Sound good? Sure. Has this happened before? Good, well, 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 let's see, let's see what he can do. Just a little bit of yeah. gentle hazing. I think it'll make his day. Yeah. Wait, well, wait. Hold on. I'm sorry. Am I not the first one that's come out this way? It's a job with a high mortality rate. Right? I knew that. <laughs> oh, dude! Can this I, is, can I, can I, is I, where you learned we have like a bait you, position. You, can, I, can I interrupt this question and yeah. like? Is there, this, whoa, whoa, no, whoa, whoa, whoa! No, I, it's no, crazy. I, 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 no, I, I completely, now. completely, like, completely don't see where that's going, and I just want to ask a question. Was there anything that that I would know to ask because of survival in the wild or my survival skill? Um. Nope, not with that rule. <laughs> yeah, I don't think anything particular. Like, the answer is you know no. about survival out in the desert. You know what you're doing. Um, you know how to find water. You know how to find food. A manticore would be kind of a, you three out there. Only eat monsters, right? No, I mean absolutely. What? Right? Well, no, we just eat everything we kill. So we, you know, sometimes go find not monsters. I come from a venerated line of hunters. So. I, I I had to scavenge my way through the desert to get to the uh, arch. Nothing so. unnatural, of course. I cannot speak for everyone. Though. I like glance over at Veha. It's a hard to eat ghosts. Okay. Let's just move on. Let's, let's move past it. So let's look, move past it. Luther, Luther, we talked. We've decided it's your first real mission. You've got a lot to prove. You need to make you want to make it us up to us, we get that. So you seem to have a lot of ideas. I'm willing to defer lead to you on this one. <laughs> So why don't you why don't we see what you got over there? Thank you. All right. So in that case, the first step should be finding the Manticore's lair. I agree. Terrible you... choice, but but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know where it is located? Uh, so they they can give you pretty like um obviously they don't like go and seek it out and twenty miles in the desert is sure. like a long way. That's long. Um. But they can give us a heading at least? They can give you a heading and they can give you like a pretty good, like we've cited it here, 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 and here, and here. And sort of mm, triangulate. triangulate yeah. Yeah. Um, so you can probably get a pretty good idea. Of where it's and at. of course there's the blowing up of the oil. I was going to say, where is the nearest rock blood pool? We'd know. Cool. Because yeah. we have an excellent memory for maps and geography. <laughs> All three of you. <laughs> um, I can smell it. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So cool. there's, so yeah, the rock blood is sort of, Are it's... Like, Eastern um, European. I'm I'm, I'm 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 a uh, you you. I'm you, I'm narrowing down where in where yeah. in Europe this accent is from. Eastern it's a, Europe and raised by wolves. So I'm just, you're you're workshopping it. It's a, it's a mixture. Yeah, it's a mixture of the ultimate Pam so, and like Antonio Banderas. You kind of sound like a vampire. <laughs> I can smell it. Yes. I did did, I, I'm going did to it have that much twang in it? That one? A little bit. That I, one, that one. <laughs> I can smell it. I'm a good. <laughs> yeah. So I, we would know where a pool is. Right? Yeah. yeah. So the 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 pools are sort of concentrated. It's like if you like plot out the pools that they know on a map and the like sightings of the Manticore on a map. It's sort of like mm, centered in the same place. Cool. I know when they usually hunt, right? Like when the mom would go out to hunt. Yeah. So they're going to be uh, basically dawn and dusk. Okay. In that case, what we should do is go out at dawn to set it up so we go out to the dawn at the Manticore's lair. Go in when the mother's out hunting and kill the pups. Mm. Then we wait for it to come back and kill it in its lair. Yeah. That works for us. Yes. Great. Wonderful. <laughs> what are you two laughing about? <laughs> Sorry. You told me a good joke. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm on the I thought you were laughing in character. <laughs> what the manicore say? Uh, to <laughs> the kid, the baby manicore. I don't know, Zach. What, what did it say? Your chip off the old tail. 
That's really bad. It's not even a joke. Okay. It's like the dying breath of a joke. I know. All right. Where's your mother? <laughs> it's not funny at all. <laughs> she said it was funny. <laughs> okay. Are, are we? Are we? Yeah. Can we write out? We're ready. Okay. We're good. Yep. <laughs> cool. All right. So you you write out. You get out there. You sort of you follow your map and you follow your intuition and you find yourself in a big what old big old pan of desert, right? And mm-hmm. you can like out here on the desert, this high up, you can see for. A long ways, mm. right? I mean, Horizon's probably what, like 30, 40 miles away, something mm. like that. Um, not counting the mountains away in the distance. Um, and of course, the air, you know, this like it's still at the point in the year where it rains every once in a while, like the air is just crystal clear. Mm. Um, nice. And so, you're getting out there. Um, the timing wise, the best way to do this is probably gonna, you know, go find it at night, right? And mm-hmm. then, yeah, and then camp and wait for the dawn. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, sort of like still twilight, sun setting. Um, but you get out there, uh, lizards are apparently fast enough that you can cover a 20 mile radius in not that much time. Well, now I've got flame on mine, which means it's faster. Mm-hmm. That's a good point. Is it painted like sloppily red? <laughs> Splashed on. <laughs> I got the prestidigitation. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We can go, we can go about fake fire. A lot of fires. We can go about 24 miles a day on foot alone. Okay. So the lizards probably double that. So. Yeah, probably about that. So mm-hmm. it's that's a good six hours of, yeah. of mm-hmm. go. Um, so you get, you know, it's, it's like mid afternoon now. So you set out and it's like twilight, like the sun has set and it's still twilight when you sort of get out to that, like the area where you think the center of it is going to be. And you can see you're out in the desert pan. It's like flat as a pancake. Um, there's some, like some cliffs over there, some cliffs over there. Uh, but just a big old sort of sandy basin. And in the center of it is this enormous butte and it sticks up probably a thousand feet into the air. Wow. Um, It's got this jagged and broken top. I don't think I'm ever going to get used to this heat. Okay, so That's they... That's what the cactus juice is for. So they normally nest in high places. That's pretty high. Yes, mm. it is very high. I think uh, they're up there? <clears throat> possibly. So I'm going to, like, ride around it if I can and see if there's any holes or openings. Okay. Mm. Um, how close are you being to it? Far enough away that I won't attract the manticore's attention? Okay. Well, so I remember I got like magic going on <laughs> there right now. So if they're gonna sniff out some magic, I, I've got my flames going still. Okay. So your like magical senses like have been sort of a tingle just at a low grade level like for the last eight miles. Mm. Oh boy. I relay this. Well, info it might just be the oil. Though. And suppose mm-hmm. it could just be the oil. Yeah. Like, do you wait? Do you think it's the oil? <clears throat> do you think it's the rock blood? We should call it rock blood. It's oil. I know. Well, it's magical oil. It's rock blood. Come on. Okay. Um, the the rock blood. I'm sure it's just the rock blood. If it was the manticore, it would be more than a tingle. I'd be shuddering. All right. Yeah, and it's been low grade and like real consistent. Like it sort of ebbs and flows, but it's sure. like this, not like this. Wait, a minute. can you use that to follow an underground vein? Ooh. Do you just lick the rock? I never thought about that. You're extremely valuable too. Yeah, yeah I was gonna say. Like the marble. Yeah, I know. I it's yeah. it's not that like tight like mm-hmm. fine grain oh, okay. yeah it's, it's just like a sort of a dull dull roar in the background of your senses um not knowing whether or not manacores would leave like trackable tracks or marks because they fly but if there's any evidence of them in the area i'd yeah. like to roll uh wisdom survival what should i roll for right now um i'm hey, gonna say can i do investigation Three. it's like investigating an area uh, what's that supposed more, to be linked to? Is or that wisdom? Is more perception? Oh, perception and investigation the same thing. Uh, roll one of each. Okay. Well, because, so perception is like spying things and mm-hmm. like looking, you know, perceiving something. Yeah, so there's what you're looking for and there's not what you're not looking for. So roll me one of each. Sweet. Okay. That was so a... here comes the investigation. I get plus nine on this because it's expertise. Dang. What? Wow. So that's going to be a... 24. Yes, thank you, Zach. 24. Okay. And here's the perception. Uh, that's going to be a 11. 11. I got a 19 on survival as well. So 19 on survival. Um, so you've seen, like, manticore droppings are not super common, but, like, you've spotted a couple. Um, and you can... It's like the worst thing. Your instincts, your survival yeah, instincts are just telling you that, like, that's it. That's definitely it. The, the, t- the tower? Yeah, the butte. I hope I don't need to tell you we don't eat that. Okay. I, I understand. Do we eat what? The poop? Yeah. Uh-oh. 
So, James, you nice do your circuit. You stay a good distance away, plenty yeah. far away enough to not be detected, especially in the low light. Because if I know, you know. Yeah. Right. Manticore, so Manticore is like dawn and dusk, both because that's the coolest time, um, and also because they're not actually nocturnal. They don't have low light vision or anything like that. Right. So mm. This is like, uh, what's that one movie where they're hunting the dragons in the future? Whoa. I forget it. Anyway, go ahead. Anyway, so you do spy on your uh, your trip around. You see there's a, like, high up. So you can sort of see there's some, some like, spiky stuff on top of the buttes. And it you're not sure, but some of them are some sort of straight angles on some of the spikes. Like, maybe there's some Ooh. construction up there or something like that. Um, but you also spy um, a part of the, the butte that's particularly weathered away. Um, and there's, in fact, a big sort of clump of, of debris as though it fell off within the last hundred years ago yeah, down prepare. at the bottom. Okay. Um, there is, you can see there's a big hollow, and it's, of course, quite dark. It's like dark have. out, and then yeah, it's a hollow in the But it's probably you, about a hundred feet down from the top of the butte. Um, and it matches your the, like sort of curves in and what then the disappears into a blackness and then sort of curves out. So it'd be okay. if you're on top of the butte, it'd be a really tricky Nine descent others. to get down there. Easy. But because you'd have to like as long as shimmy down and then swing it. Yeah, okay. That's but cool. still probably easier than climbing straight up. Eight hundred. Feet. good. Yes. However, I don't so think any of us can like, cast fly. So the mm-hmm. other thing Three, you see is that on the opposite side of the butte, right? So the butte is probably a thousand feet tall and maybe five hundred feet across mm-hmm. at its top. Um, there's a big like monument out there in the in the pan. Yeah. Um, and so on the opposite side of the butte, you can see there are it looks like sort of an it almost like an ancient set of stairs, mm. um, but it's it's eroded and broken. <clears throat> and giant pieces of it have crumbled off with the the wind and the erosion. How big are the stairs? Like, do they use like? Do they look like they're meant to be used by human men? Yeah, so they're they're steep. Like, they're these are some steep stairs, but they're definitely like trail stairs, maybe. Like, yeah. Okay, gotcha. Um, so we could climb up those and possibly make it across to the butte. Yeah. To the top of the butte. Okay, I'll I'll say this. Yeah, I'll be like, look, we can. This is our path of entry. The stairs. Mm-hmm. Is that dangerous? Oh. They're more than monsters. Out here. Or were. No, I mean, the stairs are alright. Weren't we gonna blow up some rock blood? Well, I mean, we were, but if we can just get in and kill the pups and wait for it in its lair, why would we? It'll eventually have to come oh, you back think, here. you think it's gone right now? Well, no. When, when, we'll, we'll go when dawn sets, when we see it fly out to hunt. We'll hide. Oh, yeah. Okay, oh, that's a good idea. Let's do that. I like it. Okay. In that case, uh, this might be okay. I, th- I think what I think what I'm gonna do is try to kind of like plan <laughs> out a descent path, <laughs> so when the time comes, we can I can yeah, point them out, yeah, and, di- and direct them up the rock. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna start making my way up the steps and like testing them out, and figuring out which ones are safe to walk on and stuff like that. Okay. So, a thousand vertical feet. Mm-hmm. In like. A hundred horizontal feet is like. A hard climb. Yeah, um, and but I'm not. I don't have to do this again until tomorrow. So. Right. Um. Yeah, and it's it's like definitely it's not going to be easy, but it's definitely doable. Okay. Cool. So good work for you. Nice. Thanks, Dad. Okay. And then you all just sort of make camp. Yeah. Um, yeah. And wait for the dawn and the silhouette of the great beast. <laughs> yeah, I'll be watching. That's, Is that my, the sound? Fl- that's my flat. Oh, there's the sound. wings. Yeah. Who's, uh, who's, are we watching for this thing? Like, I'm watching for it. Do you want to take watches, or, um, I mean, I just imagine we would just try and get up before. We, yeah, we, so. we gotta do watches, like. Oh, yes. Just in case, yeah. Yeah. I'm so tired. <laughs> you can sleep. You're a teenager. You need yeah, your sleep. I need, like, 11 hours. I mostly stay up trying to not howl, so. <laughs> 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 Like the the moon, like <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Every night, once the moonrise happens, I'm like, oh, that's that's right, that happens. <laughs> <gasps> Comes out. All right, uh, cool. Do we see it fly? So we rested. The night goes. Um, it goes slowly. It is a uh, a long wait until dawn, or perhaps a short sleep until dawn. Mm-hmm. Um, 
But as the sun starts to rise over the desert plain, it's still the cool crispness of night. Um, there's like dew has collected on stuff that collects dew. <laughs> and, um, but like the twilight starts to come back in and you can like see silhouettes of stuff. And I get, indeed, um, you see those great leathery wings propelling this enormous beast wow. um, off away. And it's like, you're far enough away that it's totally silent. And it's just mm. this like gorgeous thing out there. Disgusting. Delicious. Wow. It's a big tail. Cool. Time to start your climb. Yeah. We should uh, make haste. Time is of the essence. Mm -hmm. right. Great. Indeed. Yeah, you guesstimate you've got <clears throat> three, maybe four hours before it comes back. So it's like, say it's four o'clock now and around eight o'clock or maybe nine o'clock if you're lucky. So I guess that's four or five hours. Sweet. At least will be back. Cool. Um. So, the ascent. Give me a group athletics check. Oh, great. All right. You guys got to cover for me. Carry. <laughs> yeah. Carry me. Before we all outline ourselves. Carry me. That doesn't matter. What do I roll? Carry me, D20. please. <laughs> I got how, five. How does the group check work? Uh, if so, more than half of us pass, we all pass. Mm, yep. Uh-oh. Oh, no. So, I got a 15. Okay. I got a 17. Oh, no. I got a 20. Okay. So, be so that is that is half of you passing. Yes. So the group succeeds. Um, half or more. I'm not yeah. at all. You're like, oh, oh, thank and you, I'm... big strongman. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it's a it's a hard, strenuous climb. Um, and James, you are toast um, as you're to you're getting up it, but you're able to keep a pretty good pace. You so you don't you don't lose any more time than you think you would lose. Cool. Um, and about half an hour in, you're probably about halfway up. When you hear a flapping of wings, uh oh, hmm? don't be. I, I quickly look around to see if the mom's coming back. Talking. So I pull out my great sword. It's ready. Yeah. So good instinct. Um, <laughs> but this is these are smaller wings. These are not manticore wings. Um, it's not a big thrum. Yeah, it's yeah. A, oh, great. Um, and you begin to hear on the wind. A, uh, a little something, a little bit of music, a little bit of something. It's like singing? Yeah, like a little bit of singing, maybe. That's weird. Can I know, can I roll and know what this is? Uh, what go ahead think? and roll a, what is it, a wisdom um, save? Yeah. Oh, you want me to make a save? Wounds, yeah, all range. four of you, please make a is wisdom what? saving throw. Okay. Oh, God. Make a wisdom throw. No, 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 oh, no. Oh, no. no. Well, Dan, I got a 13. Oh, is this, am I being, See ya. are we being charmed or put to sleep? Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have advantage. Yeah, I get advantage. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here, 15, Zach. Dan. Oh, yeah. 15? Okay. All right, so I got a 12. Uh, I have a and 14. So, I, have 14. I have a 13. 14? I rolled an 11 both times. Okay. Um, so you all, those of you who are uh, versed in the world recognize this as a harpy's song. Ooh. Um, and... Herpes? All of you are uh, like aware and together enough to not get charmed Plus. by their nonsense. Oh, oh wow! Okay. Okay. So okay. yeah, it's not a very yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay, cool. I'll You're pick something else then. Uh, but so here you are on this. It's like a stretch of stairs. It's sort of like imagine it like basically the stairs just like switch back steeply up the mountainside. We can stand on this, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's probably. You don't need to do three from here. Um, I mean it's wide. Enough. It's like five feet wide. Let's say it's a square wide. Okay. Um. Some of them are really cool. But so a pack of harpies, um, you see them come over the crest of the butte and they're singing, you know, all singing at the top of the lungs like harpies do. Mm -hmm. um, they're alluring songs. They've got clubs and they've got vicious claws um, and they descend on you and they seem a little bit confused, a little bit thrown off. Um, that They expected a manicure? Well, no, they expected you to be like charmed by their song and, yeah. fall, just off like, and so yeah, fall off and die. Um so they're a little bit thrown off by that, but like they're committed at this point, um, mm -hmm. and they dive towards you. So I want to see initiative rolls. Here they come. Mm -hmm. And they're nice. screeching. Well, Assassin's not helping me today. I got a I seven on initiative. Nineteen. Nineteen. Nice. Okay. So seven, nineteen. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Just twenty. So twenty. What do you add to an initiative? Dex. 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 Okay. Um. So then, just an eleven. Okay. So, Zach will be first as a 21. How many are there? Uh, we'll say there are six of them. Wow. That's a lot. 
Um, who was next after that? Uh, not me. Uh, that's gonna Ryan? be Ryan with a nineteen. Okay, Ryan nineteen. Then we got Logan. Uh, I don't know where the harpies are. I got a seven. So Logan had an eleven. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. So they are currently in the air above us. They're flying towards us. Towards us. Okay. Are they all bunched up? Um. There, you could probably get about. Well, <clears throat> are they all within twenty? Is it could a twenty foot radius get them all? You'd probably get half of them. Wow, they're really spread up. Mm. Yeah, but they're in the air. There's an alternate rule in the DMG for figuring out spell ranges when we don't have a map. If we want to use it, I don't know what it is. It's I don't know. I'm gonna use just make it up off the top of your head. Okay. You're gonna make my fireball not good. You have fireball? Of course. Yeah, fifth level sorcerer. Oh, that's right. Third yeah. level spell. That's right. Silly me. And I could cast it five times if I got rid of all my other slots. <laughs> oh, yeah. Zach, the harpies are flying at you at high speed. What do you do? And there's six of them? There's six of them. Okay. Um, let me look at my meta magic. <laughs> Welcome to the hardest class to play in the game. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm good. I'm just going to use Scorching Ray and... Uh, I will not use any meta magic to start, and I'll just attack three separate harpies. Okay. One ray each. First ray is a crit. Whoa! Okay. Oh, I'm just gonna do all attacks. Okay. That's a twenty-three. Okay, that'll hit. Is it against AC? Yeah. And even higher. That hit. Okay. So I got two hits and a crit. Okay. Um. So roll. This doesn't happen. So you see him do that, and you're like, I guess he's sixes. not all talk. Cool. You realize that, like, maybe he has, like, a reason to be, like, all, like, cocky. And oh, like, I never thought any of you were all talk. I, I actually, just thought I was still not better. Crit yeah. What is the, how do, what is a crit mechanic for 5e? Except for you. I'm terrified of your character. I have no is idea what this thing is. <laughs> roll a 20, and then you, it's, uh, you roll Because you're literally, I realize, oh. you're literally one of those freaky so, things from the Bass video. Not like, really. No, I know, I know. But you got like the veil with the black gun. So the it's first more, one will take. It's more Pan's Labyrinth than that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, each ray is 2d6 per ray. Oh, okay. Or like similar to like the <clears throat> Angel in the Hellboy movie. Yeah, that, that Kind of like sense. that. One takes. Like, I'm not five. actually like out to hurt you. Wait, it's just, I look for the great. Another take. <laughs> yeah. Ten. My job is I heal you. <laughs> And then 11. It's fine. It's a very important roll. 10 and 11. Yeah. Okay. Oh, last one. Three. Three. Womp womp. Okay. Cool. So the, the rays of fire shoot out. Um, one of them is a direct hit. It, it hits Charpy right in the, the chest and her feathers sort of catch a fire and she, you know, rolls and, and uh, starts to beat on herself trying to, mm -hmm. to handle herself. Um, but she is able to recover and is still in the game. So she's, like, smoldering a bit and definitely not looking good. Cool. Um, the other two, it, they, like, got grazed, but they're still in, like, full-on, like, battle mode coming at you. Mm -hmm. um, and they their alluring song turns to screeches and fury ah. as you start to fight back. Um, and in the screeches... Well, I'll wait until I turn to say that. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> Ryan, you are up next. Yeah. Um, or 19. Yeah, I think I'm going to use, and tell me if I'm doing this wrong because I only have like part of the description on here. Guiding bolt. Oh. Against one of them. Okay. Guiding bolt. What does that do? So it says it's a spell attack for four d six plus one d six sl. So just forty six because you're not casting it. Sure. Higher. 4d6 um, radiant damage, and next attack against target has advantage. So you okay. roll a uh, spell attack, so roll a d20. Sure. So before you do that, um, are you rolling against one of the ones that Zach... No, I'm going after a different a one. A fresh one. Okay, yeah, so cool. that the next person who attacks it can okay. double tap it effectively. And you should, um, or what I always like to do with D&D &D in particular, because there are so many things to roll, is when you roll an attack, also roll the damage dice. Oh, yeah. smart. At the same time? Yeah, that'd be good. Okay. Um, so if you need to borrow some D6, I have lots of D6. D6. I got one here. Oh, I need two, though. Yes. Yeah. Cool. Big pile. I got more in my back. Yeah. All right. Big bag of this. There we go. So crit. crit. Okay. Wow, guys. Or is it? 11. That so, no, okay. says 46, right? Yeah, it's 46. Yeah, so yeah, and so you'll roll another 4d6. You double damage dice. On when, crit. Um, when you crit, you, you roll. Jesus. Yeah. So six more. So you got an 11. Yes. For the 11. Days. And then six more. Okay. Six more D6s. 
Six more d6s? Because you, yeah, you crit. 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 Oh, Critting doubles okay. the damage. All right, then give me two more. Jeez. So I guess this thing probably doesn't <laughs> you, even need the event. So yeah, 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 the, 11 plus oh, no, 23, yeah. 33, Shit. 37. 37. Okay. <laughs> so um, much for the advantage. We, we all start like pose and you guys just like, <laughs> and we're like. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so uh, you blast okay. this one out of the air. Um, describe to me what happens. So I kind of like, I, I like twist my hand and I twist it back and I like corkscrew it out like that. And I just like. Guiding bolt, big hole through it. Okay, is it like a like a beam of light or a bolt that you throw or? No, it's like almost like I like forced the air and it was just like it just like glittering light. And then the back of it just like. Okay, out. yeah. Cool. Um, you her, I'm gonna say her like arm snaps back, um, and she just like falls, plummets, spiraling out of the air, and it's like kind of cartoonish almost. Yeah. Like 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 a hole just like. <laughs> so Luther like goes. <laughs> You and I have a moment of understanding of like <laughs> one of our only few. <laughs> yeah, like we're a little outclassed here. <laughs> yeah, right. make sure you right. the spell slot used. Yeah. Um, so at this point, the uh, the remaining five harpies descend. Um, oh and god! They screech and they lay into you. So we'll say five of them. a lot. They're gonna they're gonna pick me right up and they're gonna just throw me. <laughs> <laughs> and that'll be the end of this character. <laughs> I was like, when I was making this character today, I was like, do I need a ranged attack? No. Yeah. Okay. Um. So, let's see. Who gets attacked twice? Probably the sorcerer with the fire magic. That's pretty flashy. Like, I'm assuming it's like, like well, I, th- I hit blazing three of them. bolts of light. Yeah. Okay. Um. So, two of them attack you, and each of them... Well, so this is like... Uh, they're not using their full action because they're also moving. So, um, each of them is only going to attack once, but there are two of them. Uh, so, there's... Let's see. This is at plus three to hit, so that's a 15 and a 22. So, one hit. Okay. Cool. Um, Wait, so meter exceed. Oh, you're 16. Okay. Yeah, okay. Wow, the wizard? Or the sorcerer's highest AC? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, yeah. what's your AC? Cool. 16. Yeah, absolutely. I, t- I made sure to be nice and bulky. Cool. Get a major? Uh, go ahead no. and take... Oh. Draconic Resilience. Mm. Ah. All right. So, uh, this one slams into you and, and attempts... Or, or, yeah, the one that hits, like, uh, slashes at you and you take two damage. Oh, that's pretty it? Pretty effective, yeah. Man, if I knew they were that baby. Oh, no, wait, not two damage. Sorry. It's 2d4 plus one, not 1d4. Ah! Okay, so there's... Three damage. Daddy. Jesus. Okay. So two ones. Nice. Yep. Cool. That was okay. nothing. So we'll say Logan, we'll say Ryan, and we'll say James. Of uh, course. So the four is going to miss. Okay. The 18, right. what's your AC? Oh, that hits. all plus three. Oh, that hits. Okay. So yeah, that's 21 AC, and 18. So those are both hit. Yeah, that hits me. Hi- I mean, hide armor makes my uh, AC go down. Uh, <laughs> so five... Six damage for you, Logan, and uh, we'll say four for you, James. Ow! What did I get? Uh, you got missed. They they whiffed. You evaded. You've uh you've destroyed them utterly. Yep. Okay. Um, and you, they... you're doing some weird shit, and you're just like <laughs> dancing out of the way. They have. I'm like tasting the air, like like the snake. <laughs> okay. Your part. character is terrifying. Is this a human? <laughs> is this a human? I am a human. <laughs> okay, cool. So they're oh, like... You might not like, like it, but this is what human perfection <laughs> looks like. This is what peak female performance So they like. are like flying in and dive bombing you and like attempting to like... like <laughs> and rip out chunks of you and... You know, like that? Yeah, they're gross talons. Uh, so, Logan, it is now your turn. <laughs> um, are any of them within greatsword right now? Um, after well, that attack? one of them definitely... Dive bombed you. So this it's all continuous combat. So like the next time one dive bombs you, you can just like take a chunk out of it. Oh, okay. So then let you he'll, he'll let you hit. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then um uh, then I then I, I swing my greatsword in 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 uh wolf and rage. It's not a word. And greatsword. Oh no. no. Rage, yeah. Oh no, that's a one. Oh uh, the complete opposite. I know, right? <laughs> okay. You mistake your sword for a stick. You throw it accidentally and chase after it. <laughs> it goes tumbling. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so this is a good point to pause and ask, are we doing fumbles? <laughs> Obviously. Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> if you're critting, you're fumbling. Okay. It's only fair. Yeah. 
Fool. Please make me swing into the rock. Well, so I think the like the official rules do not have. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it like shakes you. <laughs> yeah. So we'll do because I don't want to be so mean as to make you lose your sword. Um, we will say that you like miss one entirely and it goes into the rock and you're shaken and it's enough that the the harpy can take another attack. Oh attack yeah. Attack of opportunity. Oh, yeah. uh, so that is a 18 to hit. You get fucked. And this is eight damage. Ooh. I can help so you. Your sloppy move. You could. I just go, damn it! Put claws rip in. <laughs> All right, James. Okay, uh, so I'm going to... Do I lose my extra attack? I have just... Gonna... Oh, that's right, you're fifth level. Yeah. Can I, can I say, instead of that, I just get unstuck and I'm okay? And yeah, I okay. I figure, I, at least, yeah. Yeah, take your eight health back. No, well, or, well, take the eight health back. Okay, take it. No, no, wait, 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 wait. This is a situation where the harpy comes in closet. You're just like, oh fuck no, and you're just going for your second oh, attack. Oh, okay, yeah, take your second attack. Okay, take that's the barbarian attack. thing to do. Yeah. Um, does a sixteen hit? Yeah. Nice. Nice. That would be. Two so I'm sorry, nervous. Um, Let's relax. Um, I can heal you as many times as I Thirteen damage. Thirteen damage. No, you run okay. out of spell slots eventually. Uh, I have all these, we'll say these I'm these just gonna basically. No, no, those count towards. Unless sauce. you're specifically uh, telling me you only have a I'm gonna just say. Uh, yeah. I didn't know that. It's okay. like basically mind, pick one at random, and that's what you well, do damage to. He's yeah, still yeah. fine. You don't need to worry about him. Yeah. Oh no, okay. yeah. I'm fine. So I, 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 okay. I basically dark souls into a wall and then chain the combo <laughs> out of it successfully. Okay. Nice work. <laughs> so James, you're up. Zach, you'll be on deck. Yeah. So I'm going. Going to uh, for wait turn. for one to die for me, okay. and then and step out of the, the one way and Let's attack it. I'm gonna faint yeah. it. Okay. <sighs> Uh, I'm hoping that because can be transferred to flame is a lot easier to hit with. Logan. Um, go ahead and make what they like make a deception save? roll. Mm-hmm. Well, I <laughs> so like we had Gray and dead. the Harvey was here and Logan was here and I was here. Well, like, wait till he's I like a get sneak because these things up. don't do a whole lot of damage. Because if it flew in to attack him, okay, yeah. If, if the four of you, yeah, okay, that makes sense. And like Logan's like flying. Yeah, there is. I have. There's. I am like a commotion right now. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, go for it. Okay. Oh, Take your sneak attack. I also have guidance, which is don't have trick. advantage on the roll because I'm not getting it that Add way. One but we'll see how this works. All right, so... Yeah, because there's no flanking in Well, yeah. that's only for skills. That's not for attacks. Uh, okay, so this is short sword. Okay, I'm here we go. Paladin. I stand in the corner. How does a 17 mm-hmm. treat oh, it? Sweet. Flash heal. Flash heal. Flash heal. Attack. That was a satisfying number of dice. Yeah, yeah, is, although I guess uh, not nearly as many. Well, 13, 14, 15 damage. Uh, bubble 15, bubble damage. Bubble okay. uh, 15 damage. Okay. Uh, sure. It's the same one that hit last. Yeah. Same one that hit last. Okay. Okay. And you are. That was the whole idea behind it. Uh, Did you play okay. much bio, or is that mostly your brother? I got that. My original description made that in play. I gotta. I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna take advantage of uh, of my enemies on my teammates' attack, so it's more obvious when the sneak attack okay. makes sense. And then uh, I will take my bonus action to strike it again with okay. my other short sword. Right, because you're a rogue. Yeah. Well, no, I just... Anybody can do that. You can take your bonus action to two up and fight. It's just that I don't get the damage bonus to the damage second. Isn't there a big penalty hit on both of them if you do that? No. That is previous editions. Uh, okay. I think. I checked it today, and right. it didn't say anything about penalties. I'll go read those rules the, at some point. The penalty is that you don't get the damage bonus to the second. Comment now if That's a wrong. pretty big penalty. Yeah. All right, go for it. Yeah. I'm, li- I'm looking for the next Text. level. I get to add my charisma to all my This is James' spells. personal phone number that'll appear on the screen Text that Will will put in later. For... Oh, Tell him he's wrong. Text five hey. for yes. Text six for so it's gonna take James out the window. Six more damage. That's okay. pretty good. Oh yeah, there's, cool. yeah, there's um, So that's actually enough to what? kill it. So what happens? Right. So oh, yeah. as it's like, like him. as it's like clawing into Nash, What's he's like wrestling with it. I just stick it behind it and go. That's my carry the west bar. Just yeah, done. Okay, Bird. cool. Like I stab it in the side and then. Bird. Sweet. All right, so two harpies are down. Yes. <laughs> and, um, and one is looking pretty extra. bad, but I'm gonna yes. let her try. To... How many could I fit in a 15 foot cube? A 15 foot cube. Is it 15 this foot like on a side? It's like questions they ask at Google. It's How just, many harpies can you fit in a 15 What are we yeah, playing? Fatal Map? Each side is 15. No. <laughs> uh, dagger. Don't speak its name. <laughs> or, um, that summons so, it. Yeah, right? <laughs> are you concerned about hitting allies? Marginally. Okay. Oh, so, I mean, they have joined the melee. Like, they're, they're swooping in and out and dive bombing. So you can like, make a 15 foot cube like over your head. Yeah. And can I get like at least a two? Wide yeah, I think so. All right. Then I will cast... Thunder Wave. Okay. It's really, it's actually Thunder Wave. Yeah, yeah. No. So, with Thunder Wave, <laughs> all creatures is, slash funny. objects in the and area Ryan, you're on deck, right? take 2d8, and they push 10 away. Save halves and is not pushed, so they make a save. The DC is 15. Okay. Oh, nice. Thunder Wave. 
Got it. And it's a con save. 15 nice. con saves. Which one did you nice. Did you target uh, so it's a fail and a fail. Before? So they take uh, 12 damage, okay. and like, they're is, pushed 10 feet away. What does your thunder wave look like? Definitely not thunder. Well, what, is, <laughs> what does Lindsay do? So this one I'm doing above. Okay. So I push my I put my hands on the ground and I start to make fire under it and then at the last second as it looks like I'm about to get blown away I flip it up and like split open the air <laughs> okay cool and is it I'm assuming there's like a really loud clap of the like compressed air and the, mm -hmm. the superheated whatever whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. mumbo jumbo physics yeah that's nice. I light out a big fiery burp. So yeah, okay. those, those guys took twelve. Wow. That's pretty good. <laughs> it reverberates. Okay, cool. And they're the ten feet away, so they'll they uh, yeah, they'll feet not feet get the yeah. two attacks. Okay, nice. cool. Bonus. Uh, so Ryan, sure. you're up next. All right. Did you target one that was already targeted? I crit on one my first turn, so you should use Sacred Flame on it. Okay, that's what that's I was wondering. So I was that wondering one, which one you also caught in your also Thunder Wave. Um, so it's still alive. Okay. But it's like on its last legs. Okay. Finish it. I think uh, Sacred Flame's a Finish save. Him. It is. Mm -hmm. DC so, 15. No, so you don't roll. Look on your page. Oh, and shit. Yeah, because it's a cantrip. Yeah, see I what, get to roll. See what save it says it is. Um, Looks like dex. D yes. Okay. DC 15. Ooh, this is a plus two, and Ooh. that's a 19. So I so. think they might still take half on a We, should, we should look that up, because I'm pretty sure for the cantrip they avoid it. Well, let me look. Well, it should say. Gets two of them and like they tumble back up into the end. You're like, this is my chance, but it's tumbling too hard and you're not able gonna, to. I was gonna roast it again. Yeah. Twice baked. Oh. Uh. <laughs> roast me, Sam. All right. You're 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 noticing a sickening trend towards like these cooking. Yeah, these yeah. cooking puns. Like, uh, just like, yeah. yeah. Puns oh my gosh. gosh. <laughs> so Zach, you still got one on you, and it's taking a full attack this time. Uh, so it attacks you with its claws and attempts to rend you. Uh, so here we've got a 13 plus 3 is 16. Is it meat or what? Do you want to meet it or beat it? Uh, meet it. Shit, so it hits. Okay, uh, cool. So I will use shield plus 5 AC until my next turn. Ho ho! Cool. Popped it! And then it, so it sort of bounces off of that, but it's able to regain its momentum and come around with its club. Uh, and that Shit. is definitely a hit, but it you only take two attacks? You only take two damage. Okay. I forgot these are weak. I shouldn't be weak. Why can't have two attacks? Okay. Uh, Logan, one of them is still sort of. What are you, what are you, this Harpy's a fifth level fighter. Yeah. <laughs> no. What are you doing, Dan? It's like CR3. <laughs> no, it probably has multi-attack. Yeah. A lot of monsters do. Yeah, lots of monsters do. Okay. Yeah, I'm okay. like, <laughs> uh, Cool. So, Logan, one of the ones that, no. that Zach blew up comes down and it, it swoops you, um, but it misses. You got swooped. Ryan. Can't get swooped. Same thing. Uh, but 19 does hit yours, so take seven damage. Okay. Um, and James, last but not least, uh, There's first... four harpies left. Oh, I thought we yeah. killed another one. Okay, go ahead. Uh, so claws first. Uh, oh, so that'll miss. Eat it. And then with the points. the other shit, uh, take four. Don't we have a lot? Okay. I don't have. These a lot guys of are bulky, points. but they don't. Yeah, do a why do I have so many more than you? Yeah. Probably because I put a lot in constitution. That and you're a cleric, so you're gonna yeah, have more than me. It's anyway. easy to like hit him and take off a bunch of feathers. Um, because you have meant to hit for actual shield. I know. I got too scared. Okay. Uh, so that's the Harpies. Logan, you are up. James, you're on deck. Yeah. Get him. Get him. I'll check something really quick. So the one that attacks Lindsay is still down by him, right? Uh, yes. Okay. To clarify, go is it one. Lindsay or Lindsay? Lindsay. L-I-N-Z-Y. Lindsay. Or L-E-N. Lindsay. Lindsay. Yeah. I think, right? No E. Yeah, Lindsay. Lindsay. At Lindsay. You're probably is there still, is there still a harpy I can hit and ring? Sorry. Yeah. All right, then I will swing it's it. It's bound to happen. Does a... Will you lend um, me that pen? Think of it that 22 way. hit. Yes. That would be a... Uh, 11 to damage. 11 nice. damage. Okay. Uh, we'll do... This is, this is the one that dive bombed you, and you take it around, and uh, mm -hmm. this actually kills me. Nice. nice. An opportunity attack nice. a lot harder right. to do next. So, so interesting. Okay. Describe... Well, you get two attacks, so... Mm -hmm. How much? So go ahead, sorry. Yeah, so describe what that looks like. So this one did dive bomb me, and we've kind of been grappling, sort of Yeah, so this is one now. of the ones that uh, Lindsay blew away, oh, yeah. and then it comes, it swoops back down. Um, I just kind of 
dodge an attack and then drive the drive the sword through it in kind of a cold blooded. Okay. Know. Cool. It's very, it's very cool. Um, my character's very cool. <laughs> it's very cool. Blood and feathers explode at the back of the Yeah, party. yeah. I, I, yeah, I try to emulate the way you killed the other one. By just, like, busting over yeah. on it. <laughs> but with your sword. I'm like, blade is just as good. Okay. Uh, yeah. Cool. <laughs> yeah. And you've got a second attack, right? You can, like, there is enough activity going around, you can sort of... That's correct. Find I chain it. Um, I strike at the nearest other harpy. Okay. Ooh. Get right. Ooh, that would be a 16. That'll hit. Nice. Uh, 10 damage. 10 nice. damage. Cool. All right, go ahead, James. Zach, you're on deck. I'm going to go, right. go for the one that is fighting with Lindsay uh, for another sneak attack if possible. Ah. Okay. okay, go for it. Uh, well, Jim, time drops. Boom. Uh, if this is a sneak attack, you should be rolling more dice than that. I know. That's okay, a nice that hits, jaw. Yeah. Okay, it's got to have a... I'm definitely... Yeah, that's, that's right. That's uh, right. Uh, 9 to 11, 12, 13 damage. 13 damage. So the one that was grappling with Lindsay, and that's also the one that Logan just hit. Yeah. Is it dead? Uh, no. Okay, I'll take a bonus action to hit it again. Wow. Strike. Hit. Two more damage. Okay. Stab it, stab it. I'm going to look at that two-weapon fighting. Just real quick. Yeah, that's interesting to me. Do you not get more than one attack as a fifth level rogue? Nope. Okay. So so what you do as a monk. Unless, unless I ferociously misunderstood it, which is possible. It, <laughs> I don't know the rules very well. Yeah. <laughs> no, um, I get uncanny dodge as a fifth level rogue. No, okay. Cool. Uh, CM, uh, James runs all his games on so, DMC. Yeah. What did we say? Uh, Zach, you're up next. <laughs> I, attack Ryan, one, on deck. <laughs> I attack one with my firebolt cantrip. Okay. Do it. Put it in dice. Capacity! Holy shit. So Gosh. that's 8 plus uh, 14. So 22 damage. Okay. Is this the one who's been like messing with me? Messing with oh, you and yeah. that these two have been wailing on? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, then you definitely cover it. I give it the business. Mm -hmm. It's a cantrip. Not okay. much to describe. Just pull. <laughs> yeah. Is it? Yeah, Rogue's never getting an extra attack. I'm probably just going to huh. use more sacred That points. makes sense. Yeah, it's just your sneak attack goes up. Is yeah. there two left? So more snake and frame? Yeah, there's two sneaked more. Snake frame, yeah. You haven't really hit either of them very much. These guys are pretty babies, though. No need to use any more good spells. Well, no, I want to save it for the mana core. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, I'm going to use more snake and frame. Okay. Sounds so good. Go for it. Oh, so I need to make... Roll to see if the snake's in frame. Uh, And it's a DC 15, so I do not pass. Roll your damage. Okay. 2d8. 2d8. Yeah, that's eight, not bad. Eight, eight. These are mine. Oh, they're both right out. We're going to get them fixed. Seven. 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 Okay. I'm not excited for that. I'm so to get to cool. Add my, uh, go I'm ahead. Really oh, me. Like I'm next. Do, cool. Can trip. Um, so they continue attack. to do the thing. Uh, so we've got... Ryan, there's one that's <laughs> grappling with you still. So presumably that's the one that you hit. Um, and so they miss with their claws, and then with the not claws, they also miss. And James, yeah, I mean, but you're like, no, please. Uh, we'll just like blow it all at the same time. <laughs> no, please. Uh, so there's a hit with the claws, so that's three damage. Are they hitting me? I'm saving. Uh, right. Yes. Uh, spell and then the club. Ah, uh, miss fireball. Mm. Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, so I, just, I, I will use fireball, my fireball. reaction to have the damage with uncanny dodge. Okay. So your three goes down to two. Doesn't it go down to one? Or it goes down to one. You always okay. run down. D and D axiom. I was like, wait. <laughs> It says it in the first chapter. Okay. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, harpies flail ineffectively. Logan, go ahead. Um, are, there, are there any still near me? Multi attack every turn? No, they just did. I oh. just rolled oh, five dice oh, against oh, you. Oh, oh, oh. They missed the first one. Okay, cool. Yeah. I charge to the nearest harpy. Okay. And I would like to hit it with a big sword. Classic DD. <laughs> um, does 11 hit? Uh, yeah, just barely. Oh, nice. oh, oh, oh. Um, that would be... 10 damage. 10 damage. Okay. Uh, let's see. We're going to say this is the one that's been... Like, you and James have been sort of back-to-back -back this whole time, so it's going to say yeah. the one that's been tussling with James. <clears throat> cool. Attack him again! Attack him again! Ah, that one hits. 17. 17? 17 damage. <laughs> 17 damage. Oh, no, sorry. 17 to hit. Okay. Um, and then math, um, 12 damage. Cool. 
Um, you have definitely, like, inflicted some wounds on this one. It's, mm-hmm. like, missing some feathers, and it's got a gash across its stomach. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's not dead yet, but it's getting there. Okay, I'm gonna finish that off. Yeah. Here we go! Uh... It has been... I'm, oh, this is really nice with me being at the end of the round. Dude. You just finish oh, off whatever is... Well, <laughs> I only get to sneak attack once per round. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I'm, I'm doing it right. Okay. Yeah. It just I'm just good. All right. Um, <laughs> yeah, rolling that low. Is this thing still in a position to get sneak attacked? Or... Uh, yeah, I mean, Logan just smacked it. Okay. Well, seven plus uh, six. Thirteen. That'll hit. Yes. Okay, it's going to take eleven... Uh, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20. Okay, that kills it. Sweet. So just a, a quick, like, Logan sussling with it, and you're just like, eh, <laughs> you don't need these vertebrae. Its head's gone. Yeah. Okay, uh, Zach, there's one left. Okay. Um, will... And it's screeching, screeching something about how you're, like, defiling the mount or something like that, and, like... <laughs> well, I scream back at it. <laughs> I don't care. You're my his, dinner. His wrath will be upon you. Something, something, something. I'm just going to use Firebolt on it. Okay. Oh, I was about to be a 16, Ooh, and now it's a 10. Nice. Your Firebolt just, like, goes off into there. Yeah. This is a bizarre thing. Can I just not multi? All right, Ran. Maybe I can't do this. I, uh, I guess I'll shoot it. Cast the same cantrip you always cast. That's how D&D goes. I fail my save. Roll your damage. I mean, you don't want to use up all the good spells on the mooks. It's that true. Is I mean, 11. I'm just glad they actually get cast as like some repeatable thing to do. Right. That yeah. isn't. Well, I mean, like especially like my character, where I have to like save a bunch of stuff for healing people. Yeah. So far, we're doing all right. Yeah. Okay. Um, last one flails at you again, Ryan. <laughs> um, this is the one that you've been has been like tussling with you since they arrived. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that is a miss with the claws, but a hit with her club. Uh, and so she smacks you upside the head for all of two damage. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, they're not that bad. Eh. I was scared when they're six, but they're they kind of just yeah. Uh, all right, Logan, you're up again. All right, um, I'm coming up against. There's the one left. Yeah, there's one left. And it's sort of like like along this cliff. It's like sort of on the other side of the party. Like it's gonna be some work to get up there. Um. Well, I have forty speed. Okay. Base speed. So I think I'll do that. I would like to. Um... Oh, that's what I do. Uh, reckless attack it as I run up to it. Okay. Does a um, fifteen hit? Yes. Ba 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 ba. Yeah, you should be using that. Uh, I already rolled damage before, but that's okay. Um, that would be a bim, 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 bim. Uh, eleven damage. Cool. Pretty good. Uh, that'll kill it. Yay! Just gonna bring it down on its back, just yeah, across the back. Okay, it uh, you hear a sickening crack as the harpy bends in an unnatural way and then falls, the five hundred or so feet like bouncing off of stairs <laughs> as it goes. And, oh, all right, groovy. That's brutal. Okay, <sighs> they're all dead. Vile creatures. Cool. Yep. Yeah, you did not leave a whole lot left of them. All right. Mm-hmm.